Welcome to day one of the car conversion. Yeah, essentially I've got an Astra and I'm looking to uh, convert it into a stealth camper. I want to make absolutely no adaptions to the car at all, so the aim is, is to try and find a design to convert it but without making any changes to the car at all, which is actually quite a tall order really. I've been all over YouTube um, yeah, getting ideas and blatantly pinching all the good ones. I'll show you around the car. This is the amount of room that we've got in the rear. These seats uh, go down by pulling the lever here. I think to this point here, from the back there, it's 165 centimetres, so the only way to even begin to get a bed in is if we were to move the driver's seat all the way forward. So I need to come up with a design uh, that can be in drive mode and stealth camping mode. Uh, so once I park up, then I'd move this seat forward and then can set the bed up here. Um, yeah, so hopefully the idea that I've got will work, but we'll have to see. So I've got the, uh, the plywood here. I uh, should be able to sit here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pop, pop it into the car and kind of approximate exactly how, um, yeah, how it's gonna be laid out. So we should get an idea of what it looks like. It's a bit wonky and I wouldn't want to lay on it yet as it's supported by a couple of cans of soup. Um, it is at a tiny bit of an angle, um, but this is the first time I've um, been able to actually get an idea of what it's going to actually look like. Um, I'm quite, quite happy with it really. Got lots of storage down here by the look of it. Um, storage under here and lots of room under here that we can access from the side essentially yeah that that is how i'm going to be sleeping <laughs> that's kind of cool i'm just going to try and adjust how that hood is laid out so the padding's yeah kind of equal across it see if we can get it so it feels a bit more stable Let's see what it looks like just a reminder of what what the approach is going to be essentially that end's just going to be cushioned against the seat i'm not using uh super cans for the legs I'm using um, IKEA legs uh, for um, one of the IKEA tables. Uh, they're adjustable, um, and I should be able to cut it to size and then use the adjustable section to lift this end up and down. If you rotate the end, it's on a threaded section, uh, which unscrews uh, to well, a total sort of usable length of around about, I'd say it's about three quarters of an inch. Um, what's that? That's uh, about 20, no, 18 mil. I'm going to chop them to height and then have one there and one there. That's enough explaining what I'm going to do. Now it's time to actually do it. Now to get the other one on this corner and then we're going to reduce that down much, much lower. That's uh, both legs on, so now all I need to do is shorten the uh, legs, so I need to go do a bit of measuring. So the only way I can think to do this is to uh, essentially take the leg yeah, and then kind of estimate as to what uh, height we need. This central console, we can't have it resting on there, I've got to have it a little bit higher uh, just so it doesn't rub on it and cause any damage. Uh, the only way to do that is by increasing the padding here, we know that this is level, so if we were to increase the padding by one inch, uh, that should provide the appropriate clearance. If we just want it to be lifted up one inch above the central console, then we need to be bringing it to uh, 22.5 centimetres uh, gap between the bottom here and the underneath here on the leg. So we'll do that and then we'll allow for the bracket as well. So the aim is to 
uh, take this extendable uh, section off of the leg. Um, now that I've cut the end of it, I can access the inside. And I found um, a hack on an IKEA website, uh, IKEA sort of you know, hacky website, um, that says if you use a boom handle, you can basically just whack it down and it pop off. Yeah, so let's see what happens. It worked. Amazing. That's brilliant. It's under the car, but um, yes, it does. If I've worked this out correctly, this should now fit onto the end here. Hopefully it's not too much of a problem that it's uh, really wonky. I had to use a handheld, yeah, sort of old, old style hacksaw uh, to chop it. Um, so, yeah, I'm by no means a professional, so this is the best that's going to happen, really. Um, I can't do this one-handed, so I'm going to pop you down. I don't know if you saw exactly what was going on there, but uh, I spent ages trying to attach it, swearing that there was something wrong with it, but basically, um, yeah, I was just turning it the wrong way. Um, uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey, um, must remember that. Uh, so that's that's one on there. Quite like the look of it. It feels like it will be quite stable, especially, you know, with the, you know, the support C in the other corner and then arranged properly up the top there. So um, yeah, let's get the other leg chopped up and see what it looks like. Let's extend the uh, little feet bit. Lefty Lucy. You can see from the spirit level that this side here is a little bit higher than this side here. Uh, so at the moment I'm going to undo this one. Uh, I think that's right. Here we go. Yeah, it's moving towards that sort of middle section. Yeah, so we can level off the bed. That's that. That's that proved. Okay, so let's have a look and see the other way. So it should be clear that the bottom is much higher than the, uh, the, the top. So I've added one extra jumper under there for extra padding, brought it up and we have success. Yeah, it is completely level. Right, so this is the first time that I've tried this bed. Um, so I'm just going to get on it and see what happens. working. That's amazing. We got a bed. That's great. This is going to go up there a bit more, so it had to be like, sort of further up there. But yeah, it's actually supporting me. That's brilliant. Lovely. <laughs> it's time to chop up the uh, the second uh, piece of MDF. So we're going to um, yeah, make, make a start on that now. Um, I hope I've measured this right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have, but yeah, let's see how it goes. It's time for the moment of truth. Uh, let's see if it fits. That <gasps> does. It <fits>. Haha, <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna do the legs now. first leg of the four for the uh, the final section. Um, mm. 
I'm packing up for the day basically with a broken hacksaw there's not much more that I can do I will get a new one tomorrow and then hopefully get started in the evening yeah so hopefully by tomorrow now yeah, we should have a have a working bed yeah, that'd be great